Have you ever felt like you were living to meet other people's expectations? Life in society imposes a series of rules and norms that we must follow. These rules can be explicit, like government laws, or implicit, like social norms. However, history is full of individuals who made significant contributions to humanity by refusing to follow the status quo. These individuals showed that challenging norms can lead to extraordinary discoveries and achievements. How many times have you felt that you weren't good enough and needed to change to be accepted? To avoid the feeling of rejection, we often force ourselves to change who we are. But to what extent should we cling to what others expect of us? Now we will explore Ralph Waldo Emerson's thoughts on non-conformity. Emerson was a 19th century American philosopher who advocated the importance of being true to ourselves, even if it meant going against the current. Let's learn how the concept of non-conformity works in practice and understand how we can use it to our advantage for a healthier and more authentic life. This video might be the push you need to fully realize and live out all the potential that is paralyzed within you. Ralph Waldo Emerson, born in 1803, was a central figure in the American transcendentalist movement. His life was marked by experiences that profoundly shaped his ideas about individuality and non-conformity. After his father's death, Emerson faced challenges that led him on a journey of self-discovery. He began his career as a religious minister, but soon became disillusioned with the restrictions of the religious organization. This disillusionment propelled him to seek a more personal and meaningful path. Emerson's travels through Europe, where he met literary and philosophical figures, were also fundamental in shaping his ideas. He was deeply influenced by English Romanticism and German idealism, incorporating these thoughts into his philosophy. English Romanticism, with its emphasis on individuality and nature, influenced Emerson to advocate for the importance of self-expression and connection with nature. German idealism, with its vision of a unified spiritual world, influenced Emerson to develop his conception of the higher self. Emerson believed that each person should seek their own truth and path, free from the shackles of tradition and social conformity. His writings and lectures were highly influential, helping to shape the intellectual and cultural thinking of 19th century America. Ralph Waldo Emerson was not just a philosopher, but a revolutionary in his thinking. He viewed non-conformity not as rebellion without cause, but as an essential act of authenticity and self-expression. At the core of his ideas, Emerson placed the belief that every individual possesses a higher self. This self is the source of true wisdom and should be the guiding compass of our lives. Following this inner voice often means challenging social norms and rejecting the pressure to conform. Therefore, he advocates for people to be true to themselves, even if it sets them at odds with society. In societal life, we are often pressured to follow established patterns, whether in career choice, lifestyle or beliefs. Emerson's philosophy encourages us to pause and reflect. Are we living according to our own values and beliefs? or are we merely following the path laid out by others? Adopting non-conformity in our lives can mean making decisions that go against the expectations of family, community, or society at large, but are aligned with our deepest values. Non-conformity is an expression of authenticity and integrity. It is the choice to live according to our own values and beliefs, even if it makes us different from the majority. It can be a difficult choice, as it may lead to isolation or social rejection. However, Emerson believed it is worth taking that risk to live an authentic and meaningful life. Embracing non-conformity, as Emerson suggested, can lead to a more authentic and satisfying life. When we stop trying to fit into pre-established molds and start living according to our own convictions, we open space for genuine personal growth and greater personal fulfillment. 
This does not mean rejecting every social norm, but rather critically evaluating which norms are in harmony with our true selves. In the context of society, non-conformity can contribute to a more just and equal world, as it challenges social norms that may be unjust or oppressive. Although it can bring many benefits, the practical application of the principle of non-conformity requires us to follow certain steps. The first is self-knowledge. We must reflect on our true passions, interests and values, asking questions like, what really matters to me? What are my deepest goals? And what makes me happy? This process of introspection is fundamental to understanding what we truly desire from life beyond external expectations. Then, it is necessary to question the norms and expectations that society imposes actively. This includes rules of conduct, standards of success, and even cultural beliefs. Ask yourself if these norms align with your own values and if they truly contribute to your happiness and well being. Nonconformity starts with small acts. It can be as simple as saying no to a social commitment. It is through these small steps that we build the confidence and courage needed to make larger and more significant decisions. Another essential step is building a solid support network. Finding people who share your values and support your quest for authenticity provides a sense of community and understanding, crucial elements when facing resistance or misunderstanding from others. Accepting uncertainty and fear is equally important. Embracing nonconformity involves facing feelings of doubt and fear. These feelings are part of the human experience and recognizing them without allowing them to dominate your actions is an act of courage. Remember, it is through confronting our fears that we find growth and strength. Celebrating individuality is a milestone on this journey. Each choice you make towards authenticity reaffirms your personal integrity. It is important to recognize and value these choices as they reflect who you truly are. The continuous reassessment of your choices and actions is a dynamic aspect of non-conformity that needs to be put into practice. A decision you made yesterday may not be the best today. Being open to re-evaluating and reflecting on your decisions aids in the ongoing process of learning and growth. Non-conformity is not a static state, but a journey of constant personal evolution. By embracing non-conformity, we are choosing to let go of a safe and predictable life in exchange for a more authentic and meaningful one. It's a journey that can be challenging but it's also a journey that can lead to a fuller and happier life. What does being free mean to you? Every person carries within them a spark of originality that should not be overshadowed by conformity. Ralph Waldo Emerson, in his wisdom, leads us to question the essence of what it means to be truly free. His philosophy is not about rejecting social norms on a whim, but about diving deep into discovering the authentic self. True freedom manifests when we allow ourselves to live according to our deepest convictions. Similarly, conventional standards of wealth or status do not define success, but by fidelity to oneself. Success is measured by the ability to align your actions and choices with your higher self. Nonconformity, in this sense, is a commitment to your own originality and creativity. By embracing nonconformity, as suggested by Emerson, we open up a new horizon of possibilities. This journey of self-discovery allows us to discover and explore our genuine passions, our unique talents, and most importantly, our inner voice. By doing so, we find not just freedom, but also true fulfillment and joy. If this video resonated with you, write in the comments, it makes sense to me. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to receive all the latest teachings.